Ever wonder what I just flashed in front of you? Hi there, Ruby. Nice to meet you. Hmm. I wonder what this uh, fine, cute, girly pink thing is. Pads are such a wonderful thing and they've come such a long way. But a question you may have, because there are still ladies, girls out there, teenagers, are wondering, how do you put on a pad? This may not seem important to you, but this is going to be important for someone. Let's discuss. What are pads? Pads are made up of certain material. Now they have them out in 100% cotton, which means at some point we started out with them being made of synthetic materials. Follow me. Okay. What are pads used for? They're not just for your menstrual cycle, which typically runs on a 28-day cycle. Again, not a medical professional. Gonna go ahead and put that disclaimer in there real early instead of like in the middle, like the last time. Yeah. They're also made to absorb any other type of discharge you may have going on outside of your menstrual cycle. A just in case thing, in, in case you have a mishap of any kind, menstrual cycle or not, if you have a personal matter that you would not like to discuss, this is, made, this is what pads are for in that area. Now, how do you put on a pad? Pads typically come in this type of packaging. It's folded up in this nice, neat packaging, perforated at the ends. As you see, I have removed all of that perforation. Yeah, gone. Makes it look pretty. Presentable and adds security because you know it's sealed shut. Brand new. I literally just opened this before I side talk, talk to y'all. And so you unfold it like this and the ones with the wings are going to come with a detachable piece of what feels like a wax paper for you to then unfold and then apply it sticking into your underwear. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to apply it to your underwear, but my, you ain't, what you're not finna do is what you're not finna see is mine. Okay. Absolutely not. That's, that's a non-negotiable. And then on the outside, it's sticky on the outside here. And so I'm going to show you by sticking it right back to this. First step is clean pair of underwear. Don't ask me why I'm saying it. Okay. Whether you're on your menstrual cycle or not, or, or it's a concern of you need something to catch the leakage at which you're either expecting, about to expect, or afraid that it may come up suddenly, unexpected. Whatever it is, you feel like you need to utilize one of these in your undergarments. Cool. Got it? No? Okay. If not, rewind it back. All right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. We're going to pretend that the outside of this plastic wrapper that it comes in is the underwear. And we're just going to undo it. Hi there! Pad. And I'm not throwing this away after this demonstration. You want to place that in the middle first. See what I did there? Let's just do it again. I ain't going to do it too many more times because I want the adhesive to stick. Stick the middle down there first and press down with your with one of your hands. Use the other hand for support. Now, if you're sitting on the toilet, you could work that out to do that comfortably. Okay. Press down the top, press down the bottom, and then use this motion. You want to unpeel this middle layer that holds the wings, if you're dealing with pads, applying pads with wings, and then you open up, you, you open up like you open in a book, these pads with wings, and you cuff it, press it down on the underside of your undergarments, and then repeat the same thing on the other side. 
So that way, the wings looking like this. They ain't going nowhere. Press them down as firmly as you can. And then you go on about your day and put on your undergarments. Now, that seems like something really simple. I'm also going to share with you all how to dispose of a used one. We're going to pretend like this is a used one. It is not. Use your imagination. This is why you want to save the wrappers to these that these come in. In the same way that you see it folded three quarter, fold your pad like that or at least in half and then roll it up and then come capture this wrapper and then toss it in the bin. Now, speaking of toss and bin, how do you dispose of these after you've wrapped it up in the wrapper? These feminine hygiene pads, these menstrual pads, these maxi pads. After you have wrapped it up either in this packaging here, throw it in a, this is why you need to keep your, and, and some people may, may frown upon it, but this is actually a very frugal tip and it keeps you from unnecessarily using trash bags that are for the house. You ever come home with grocery bags from the grocery store, plastic one, the OG ones? If you have some of those stacked to the side, after you wrap it up in the wrapper, toss in there, tie it up real, real tight. So that way you're not only locking up the moisture, which you're disposing away, ill, you're also locking in the scent that it that your menstrual cycle comes with. Ill. I got more videos like this where I talk about feminine hygiene and how to best utilize your feminine hygiene products. So on either side, there should be a playlist for you all to enjoy. Until next time. Love you. When I think about love, it's one of the bravest things that you can do. It is patient. It is kind. It does not envy or boast. And it'll keep you on, on the coast of not being rude or self-seeking. Nor is it easily angered or seething mad. And it keeps no records of wrongs. It has no pleasure in evil, but it rejoices in the truth. And most of all, 